Without. So, uh, this week I thought it'd be interesting for you guys in YouTube land to see how someone like me achieves an air-to-air -air shoot. So by air-to-air -air shoot I mean it's when we're photographing one plane from another plane. Um, and I thought it might be interesting for you to see how we rig the camera ship and what camera ship we use. And by camera ship I mean the aircraft we're going to shoot from. Um, so we have a shoot coming up in Colorado. Uh, we've been tasked with creating a bunch of images for a manufacturer of a motor glider. Uh, if you're not familiar with a motor glider, it's basically on the ground, it sort of operates like a normal plane. It can go around on its own power, it has a propeller and an engine. And then once it takes off by itself, so it's not reliant on being towed up into the air like a glider normally would be on a winch or with a, a small aircraft pulling it. Um, it can take off by itself and when it gets to altitude and establishes it can retract the propeller uh, It hides it inside the nose cone and basically it becomes a sports glider. It's a fairly unique aircraft. It's brand new There's um, the, the, the model we're actually shooting is uh, a Prototype so there's only one around and ultimately this set of images is going to be for the company to promote the aircraft for sales so some kind of brochure will be required uh, a website and then maybe on the, the corporate sort of website there'll be a media gallery where members of the media sort of like magazines and the such can uh, download various images so it's a fairly broad brief there's kind of wide and detail and all, all sorts of things going on predominantly I think I'm concentrating on wide because we can do detailed shots back at the factory in Germany and that's a short hop for me from the UK but the actual shoot we decided to do in Colorado, uh, up in the Rocky Mountains, and um, perfect time of year, or we're gonna try and get perfect time of year, just when the trees are sort of turning for that sort of autumn colors, and for American viewers, I am I mean, fall. So, uh, so basically, uh, rather than just me waffling on about the brief, let's go to Colorado, and I'll have you a, a quick guide around the hangar, um, and you can see the aircraft that I'm using to shoot from. <laughs> ah, right, so this is the camera ship, it's a Cessna 180. That is Jeff. <laughs> Say hello, Jeff. <laughs> Where are you? There. Can I see you? <laughs> Jesus. Hey, what year is this, Jeff? 55. 1955. Says number 180. So what we've done. What we've done is we have removed the door. Let me uh, get out of the way here. We have removed the door and removed the seat. And I removed the yoke. And we put this pad in, and then I'm sort of strapped in here. And we've removed this seat because we're um, it's so high here, it's such, um, such high elevation that we uh, we're struggling for power because it's an old bird. So we've reduced as much weight as possible. Jeff wants to show off his um, Jeff wants to show off his hammock. <laughs> It's worth its weight in gold, only on a skyway. <laughs> yeah, trying to do a roll. It's working heavier. Alright, you have a pad. Hold it. Back in here. I'm pretty sure this isn't standard fit, is it, Jeff? <clears throat> yeah, I've tried to get somebody to fly me in here. <laughs> Look at that. So that's where I have to come and find him when he's sleeping. Yeah. Oh, 
<laughs> and he also has like a, a wing mirror, or it is actually a wing mirror for the, probably the yeah, first time. I need to know who's following me. That's, that's fairly not standard as well. Yeah, it's not but uh, apart from that, it's a good old bird, isn't it? It is. Yeah. It's got the 50 foot roll, and you're within that 50 feet, so anything you see doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> is that right? Is it? It's, is it after so 50 nice years? Is it after 50 years things are exempt? Yeah. Is that true? It is true. Oh, okay. I mean, she looks good at a distance. It's sort of like me. <laughs> I mean, you can tell I'm short, but it's worse when you get close. <laughs> <laughs> so that's our camera ship. We well, can't really film while we're uh, yeah, doing, no, our, I understand. doing our stuff. I know, and I have some pictures. You, I'll send it to you. Oh, yeah, okay. You cool. Reagan and all that. Sure. Because you never afforded yourself a GoPro of the style. I know. I'm using my GoPros on the other I plane. Know, so these I bikes just... are annoying. <laughs> these are pulled up models for planes. A buddy of mine who goes, can you storm? I'm going to you know, I fly with a bike. I mean, that's the pilot's best friend, my mountain bike. But feel the weight of this damn thing. And it oh, yeah. pulls in half. It's so stupid. I'm trying to figure out a way to get them out of the get them out of the muck. Put them up somewhere. Oh uh, yeah, that's what you're doing. Out of the way, yeah. So you're busy hanging bikes while we're waiting for our subject plane. We're waiting for that to come back from a flight with the journalist guy. That radio is just hanging on a strap behind my seat. Yeah, I see it. We have a radio so we can hear when they're coming back because we have to rig. I have to try get myself all strapped in and then just hang out the side of the thing while we fly over the Rocky Mountains which is pretty high pretty high, pretty thin air uh, but that's it, yeah, I thought I'd just show you what I'm using just for that bit um, it's been really annoying because I keep looking at the screen which is just off to the side I should look at the lens but next time I'll do that I know it's a bit of a shame that we can't show you um, me working in the plane. Let me turn the aircon off. Get the aircon off. Get the aircon off. Okay. So I know it's a bit of a shame that you can't see me actually working. Um, there's a few issues with that, um, namely because the altitude that we're flying, we have to keep the weight down. So nobody could come with me and sort of sit in that third seat in the back, which would have been great because they could have filmed me. Really, the uh, the option was to just not film it this time, but next time. Let's go.